And let's talk about antibiotics a little bit. You said that that's one of the reasons why we have uh, candida overgrowth. We've all had antibiotics in our lives, I'm sure. And when we have other problems, then we get more antibiotics. It seems like it could be a vicious cycle unless you can find a way to snap it. Um, very critical. I think, you know, antibiotics do have their place. They are life-saving. But through the years, we've overused them and we've abused them. A lot of times we've just kind of been brainwashed as the layperson that when you get sick, a cold flu, it's like get the prescription, get the antibiotics, when the reality is antibiotics are specifically for bacterial infections. So for viral, when you have a cold flu, it's not going to do anything. And so this is how we get this misuse and overuse. And I think now that we've used them so much, we're seeing these resistant strains. Mm -hmm. And this is why staph is so prevalent. That used to be a hospital issue. This is now you cut your finger, and if your immune system is imbalanced, you're in the hospital maybe getting an IV drip of antibiotics because you have MRSA. So this is a serious thing, and we're also getting bombarded from the food that we eat, from the red meat, the chicken, the turkey that's pumped mm -hmm. full of antibiotic and hormones. So mm -hmm. we're getting it from the food sources. That's where 50% of antibiotic usage goes, is into the cattle. So we're getting it from multiple factors, and then we're not knowing how to keep the ecology balanced. We're not just doing basics like probiotics, let alone antifungals when needed. And so we're getting a great disruption in the body. So if, if we took care of ourselves better, we would not need the antibiotics so much. As Correct. Well too, you so. wouldn't need the antibiotics. And the thing is that an uh, important factor is if you do need to take them, know that it's going to wipe out good bacteria and put the probiotics back in. And I even think you need to do an herbal compound because the antibiotics are so strong that you need to use something a little bit stronger that has things like, you know, oregano, caprylic acid, powder arco, things to knock it out and then get back to some probiotics so you can counteract to keep the GI tract in balance. Mm -hmm. And that is the key is we need to be much more preventative about what we're doing. I don't think we can get away with a glass of wine each day, a nibble of chocolate each day. I would love it. I mean, I was a sugar addict, and I'd love to say I, I could do some of those things. But because we're compounded with the environmental toxicity, the stress load, and the dietary, I just think we have to be a little more diligent and responsible about what we put in our body.